everybody. Today we have a microwave to play with. So, in the name of science, of course, we're going to microwave garlic bread for a stupidly long period of time. Both in the tin foil, not the tin foil. And in case things get really, really funky out here, because I have seen what garlic bread will do if cooked too long in the microwave. Yeah, we won't talk about that. <clears throat> we have a respirator. Well, you don't have a respirator because you don't need one. I have a respirator. So, let's get started. First half will be cooked, not in the tin foil. We'll use that later. And we'll cook it for 15 minutes. Let's sit back and enjoy the show. And we have smoke. We are about four minutes and thirty seconds in, and things <clears throat> are getting smoky. Interestingly enough, that's all that smoke's actually pouring out of the side vent, not the top vent. There's actually no smoke coming out of the top vent on the microwave. But there are beginning to be scorch marks or smoke marks on the side of the vent and microwave, which is going to be taken as a good sign. We're going to pause the cooking cycle here for a little bit and have an in a look at what's going on inside the microwave. We have 30 minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Oh, yeah. I think the garlic bread's a little cooked. I think we cooked some garlic bread. We'll put it on for another five minutes or so. Who'd have thought incinerated garlic bread actually doesn't smell very nice. Well, we're down to a minute 38, and it 
sort of smells like burning garlic bread, but other than that, <clears throat> it's not doing much. smoke but I think it just got smaller and blacker in the last five minutes. And apparently it has glued itself to the well it's hot smoking and brittle and doesn't smell that good. Other than that, well, I'm going to do a close up of the microwave after the next lot of garlic bread's being through it because it's not a real pretty sight in there. Okay, we're back. This time, Half a garlic bread in the alfoil. That the last piece, the micro seems, well, very fucking hot. Just hit that one there. Don't know where the other piece of tin foil went. And we'll put this one on for another 15 minutes. And see you on the other side. about two minutes in and the really funny buzzing sound and I can actually smell the aluminium foil, the aluminium foil. It's a really hot metally smell. And while this is happening I'm also using a um, <clears throat> Nine kilo gas cylinder as a seat to sit here. Probably not the most intelligent thing to do. Well, we just hit four minutes in and uh, Buzzing sound has stopped, uh, there's no smoke, and that's about it. Also, the little piece we microwaved earlier, and that is currently contracting as it's cooling and making popping sounds. We're at about seven minutes, no, eight minutes and five seconds. And I'm starting to see a small amount of smoke rising from the microwave. smells kind of like burnt garlic bread out here. Well, 
never overheated the camera before. Apparently sitting in the sun for half hour, 45 minutes in that, in the Australian heat, overheats the damn camera. I'll be bugging. Okay, the shell of the microwave is really hot. Fuck me. We cooked garlic bread. We actually cooked. Semi reasonable garlic bread. That is surprising. At the end, it was not protected by the tin foil. Well, it's a little cooked. Still nowhere as bad as the other half, which. I don't think someone's going to be eating that too soon. But, that's pretty alright garlic bread actually. As for the microwave, well, it doesn't look too shit hot. The microwave is, well, a very unhealthy shade of bleh and yeah. That is still actually popping and contracting and making weird noises. From the outside of the microwave, from the front at least, it doesn't actually look too bad. But the side, however, sort of looks a little worse for wear. Well, all in all, the microwave will live to microwave another day and, well, <clears throat> it'll live to microwave something else. That one's never going back in the house again. Good thing we've got a replacement for that microwave. But other than that, I reckon it was a pretty successful experiment. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me stuff in the microwave next time, well, put them down below. Because I know you guys will come up with some creative and wacky ideas of what to microwave and we'll see if they're actually possible to do. In other news, I'm approaching 5,000 subs, which means I plan on doing a celebration video that I'm in discussions with a mate and that about ideas and that of what we're going to do and plans and that. There's already a rough idea of what we're going to do for it and that, but you guys will just have to sit tight and wait for 5k. Anyways, I'll catch everybody next time.